The hospital ministry plays a crucial cog in the compassionate ministry. Uh, since inception, we've managed to touch the lives of many patients and uh, even their families. Uh, our mandate includes and is not limited to uh, visiting the afflicted in the hospitals, uh, visiting the bereaved, uh, praying with them, offering them uh, encouragement through the word of Christ. We've also managed to uh, uh, raise funds which have been used to clear and offset hospital bills for uh, patients who've, be, uh, who've uh, been unable to clear the same in hospital. We continue with our, with our close partnership with the church and even want to uh, ask you, the church, to join us as uh, we embark on this noble initiative and uh, also leave a lasting impression in the community and the society at large. Thank you. The activities that are involved in hospital ministry is uh, providing compassion to the sick, reaching out to those who are in need, uh, mostly uh, outside the building, and here we are majorly looking at the hospital, uh, and here we visit the sick, we pray for them, we counsel them, we remind them that there is a, 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 a greater person who is in heaven, seated at that, on that throne called Jesus, who is able to actually heal. He is the greatest physician. At the same time, as we provide that compassion, as we give a listening ear to the community out there in the hospital, we remind them that we are coming in to give them hope, the hope of righteousness, the hope of recovery, to give them hope in terms of peace, to help them recuperate uh, quickly so that they can be able to continue with their activities, whether at home or uh, wherever they could be. And, and as we serve them in the hospitals, we extend services to them at home and it, we have realized that this ministry has truly impacted many because we have received testimonies of the health restoration, of the peace that they have encountered, and the relationship that they are developing. For those who are, who are already saved, they are developing with Christ. For those who don't know him, they have actually, it has act, acted as an eye-opener for them to actually know that there is who, our greatest physician, who is Jesus Christ himself. And as we talk of compassionate ministry, I'm reminded of uh, Matthew chapter 25. And uh, in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus packages the message by dividing people into two categories. And he talks about, I was sick and you came to visit me. I was angry and you fed me. And when you look at compassion, we are talking of being able to minister. Now, the disciples were very eager to know when were you sick and, and, and such. And Jesus will then say that whatever you did to the least of these ones who believe in me, you've done it to me. This is a call to a ministry that is for everyone. What is that small thing that you can do? What is that big thing that you can do for a ministry that calls for your support? Most of us would always want to serve God but we don't know how we can go and serve God. Now, this offers an opportunity. And so we are reaching out to you that you may be able to support this ministry in kind. You can give your donations. You can be able to give your monetary support. We can pray for the sick. We can visit the sick. All that we need is you to be part of this wonderful ministry, a blessed ministry that when Jesus decides to talk about Blessed of the Father, those who will inherit the kingdom. He says they are they who took part in this ministry. Be part of the ministry. How can you support? There's a church pay bill, 86, 1200. You can use the church pay bill and indicate hospital ministry. You can bring your support in kind to the church and you can be able to visit. Whatever you have will go a long way to speak to a soul that Jesus loves them. And that love is expressed through you exhibiting the love. May God bless you.